the latest on the coronavirus outbreak. The virus is continuing to spread across the United States. More than a thousand confirmed cases have been reported with more than 30 deaths across the country. So Laura Podesta is joining me now. You've been sort of following the numbers, but also taking a look at how officials are dealing with this outbreak. There's been some states of emergencies mm -hmm. in, in some areas, but it almost looks like they're kind of making it up as they go along. Yeah, and just to tie in with your conversation with Molly just then, we know that the next televised debate on Sunday between Biden and Sanders is not going to have a live audience and that's all out of concerns with the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But overall when it comes to how the officials statewide are and nationwide are dealing with this crisis, they're really doing everything in their power to keep large groups of people from congregating in small spaces. So in many areas officials are banning certain public events like concerts, they're enforcing quarantines and some are even calling in the National Guard. A neighborhood in New Rochelle, a suburb of New York City, now has a one mile wide containment area. It's stressful. It's very, I can tell yeah, it's very stressful. It's super stressful. Schools and houses of worship are shuttered to try and stop the skyrocketing number of coronavirus infections. We're also going to use the National Guard in the containment area uh, to deliver food, to help with the cleaning of public spaces. In Washington state, ground zero of the U.S. outbreak, the governor is expected to ban gatherings of more than 250 people in the Seattle area, home to some 4 million. And a California festival beloved by music fans, Coachella, scheduled to begin April 10th, is being postponed until October. We had our second uh, COVID-19 related death in the state of California. Governor Gavin Newsom is urging the state's 40 million residents to avoid all large gatherings and warn the elderly to stay away from cruise ships. As a nation, we can't be doing the kinds of things we were doing a few months ago. Passengers aboard the Grand Princess, an infected cruise ship that's docked in Oakland, California, are now being flown to military bases for a mandatory 14-day quarantine, even though the vast majority are not showing signs of the virus. Okay, so it's not sort of all completely dire news. We may actually get more time to do our taxes this year. Yes, yeah. I, I guess that is light at the end of the tunnel right. of the year. So the U.S. Treasury is likely to extend the tax deadline as part of a broader fiscal stimulus effort. And we also know that President Trump is asking Congress to temporarily end payroll taxes mm -hmm. in order to boost the economy. But we have a lot of Democrats who are condemning that effort because they say a lot of people aren't even able to work because of this coronavirus with businesses asking them to stay home. So right. And some businesses that may taxes, not survive. Yeah. So. Um, so we're going to dig deeper into that. It's a really interesting sort of component of this whole thing. Laura, thank you very much. Thanks.